isn't this something that you're supposed to be doing? Maybe like folding your laundry or um, I don't know, you have a paper that you need to work on or maybe, hey, did you put those receipts together for your tax return? Did you, did you even write that post? Or maybe, maybe finishing up that blog post that you said you were gonna write two weeks ago. Or maybe, maybe start doing that Facebook Live video or record that video that you said you were gonna do. What are you doing sitting here waiting for me to educate you on YouTube? Wait, 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 wait. Listen, since you're already here, the next five minutes will be the most productive procrastination that you have ever done for yourself. Hi, my name is Candace from createfreedomwithcandace.com. I simplify marketing strategy to help entrepreneurs to gain the confidence to start taking action and start building a profitable business through online marketing. In this video, I'm actually going to show you the three simple steps that you could get over and stop being procrastinating and start take, doing, take on that project. Stop working on whatever it is that you're supposed to be working on. Before we get started, stop procrastinating. If you want to build a successful business, I invite you to click the top link in the description so that you could join this 15 day challenge that actually show you exactly how to build a successful business online. I highly recommend it. So let's get started. Believe it or not, 20% of people actually identify themselves as chronic procrastinator who put off the things that they really need to do. So you are not the only one. And that's because procrastination is basically lying to yourself that, ah, I have plenty of time to do this. Indeed, you know that you really don't. I just read a research recently that there's two group of university students. Um, they are both giving three weeks to write a paper. Group A gave in this whole three weeks to write a paper and they could turn in the paper anytime in this given three weeks. Whereas group B, they have weekly due day, weekly assignment, weekly due day for that paper. And the group that actually have deadline every week are the one that actually finished the work and they did the best. And the other group that did not give a strict deadline with that, you know, they could finish anytime they want, they didn't do a very good job, clearly. We human, we're not very good at regulating and discipline ourselves. So when it comes to procrastination, you kind of have to trick yourself to get things done. And this will bring me to show you the three simple steps of stop procrastinating. So you ready? Step one, how do you eat an elephant? How do you eat an elephant? You eat an elephant one bite at a time. So here's, a, here's what I'm saying. You need time to digest. So if you have a big project, instead of looking at this project as a big pieces, and that could actually overwhelm you, you will want to break that project down bit by bit, part by part, and reward yourself when you complete each part. You want to break down this elephant. When you're eating the elephant, you want to take one bite at a time and you want to break it down so that you will actually start concentrating each part of the project before you get into overwhelm yourself of thinking this project as a whole. And that most of the time cause people to procrastinate because we get overwhelmed. So be sure to eat your elephant one bite at a time. And once you break down your project by each part, you want to brainstorm on each part what you need to do and how many hours, like the time frame that you need to work on. And pay, pay, maybe probably put out a, a timetable on each part. How long is going to take you to complete this? How long is going to complete this? Now by breaking down this elephant part by part with a detailed timetable, this elephant does not seem as scary as it is. Step two, pick out an itsy busy part of the elephant so that you don't get overwhelmed. What I mean by that is pick out the best part. When you're eating an elephant, we know that we talk about this, break it down piece by piece, right? Part by part and one bite at a time. But when we taking out each part of the elephant or each part of your project, Pick out the one that you want, you like to do the most. 
See, a lot of people start a project, they go by order. What is step one? What I need to work on first? Step two, step three. Let me give you an example. Let's say if you're creating a course. And when you're creating a course, it involving writing the course, um, the, the highlight of the course, or the, the course, the package, the course, designing the package, recording a video, pick out a color, the font, uh, working on the worksheet, like all of those, right? Think about what do you like to do the most? For example, I actually like to do video. So, but writing part is never my favorite. So if I start to write the course first, I start writing it, it will actually make me start thinking, oh my goodness, dreading me. But if I would start making the recording of the video, recording each module's video, and that's something that I enjoy doing, and I start doing it, I actually will move forward faster because I'm doing something that I like first instead of going by order. How many times you start working on something and you just seem that you cannot get past the step number one and then you cannot go to step number two because your thinking is I can't move on to step, step number two or number three without doing step number one. But next time, if creating the, the course cover, the beautiful graphic for your course is something that you like to do, do that first because it will inspire you to want to do more and it makes you feel good when you accomplish each thing. So think about this elephant. Which part of the elephant is your favorite part? Which piece is your favorite piece? Eat that piece first and then you can work your way around it. Step three, ignore the temptation. See, here's the thing. There's so much noises out in, in the society. There's so much noises on the, in, uh, on the internet. You have to learn to ignore that. If your mom like me have two, two young kids, when you set your mind to do things, right? And you, when, your kid, when you walk past your kid's room and you see that there's toys all over, you can't help to go in and start cleaning up or start calling them to cleaning up. And that actually stop you from actually doing what you're supposed to be doing. Instead of that, if you want to com complete a project, close your kid's door and so that you won't even see the, what's in there, right? So that you could concentrate on working on your project. If you love to be on social media, you love to go and scroll on the Facebook and all of that, and you have a project that you wanted to do, what you can do is have Friends and family change the password for, for you on, the, on, on your Facebook so you won't be able to log until you finish this project. So you will concentrate on this. One of the things that I do is I actually have my phone silenced 24 seven so that I won't hear the, all of this notification on Facebook. And I know that I will only check my phone at a certain time. So there you have it. Follow this three simple step. You too learn how to stop procrastinating. Thanks to my friend Little Gray and I will see you later. If you like this video and it helps you, please let me know. Drop in a comment. Let me know. You like this video, give me a thumbs up, share this video and subscribe to my channel. With that being said, this is Candace from Create Freedom with Candace.com. I'll see you next time.